Part of the festivities, Gronk was out there to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. This is what it looked like. Not exactly throwing the first pitch. Great hand for one of the great tight ends of all time, and he spiked it. <laughs> So I don't think he counts as a pitch, but we're underway. I think it's a balk. He's the only player in club history with at least 150 home runs and 150 stolen bases. And a 2-2. Swing it a drive. He socked that to right. Abreu back, back, back to the track. Leaping up, he made the play and went slamming into the fence. Outstanding catch. Highway robbery of Ramirez. How about this one? This is absolutely incredible. Go get it, Abreu. And moved him to shortstop. Center field, lazy fly ball. Although still going back. Freeman oh, makes baby. the catch, but baby, did that carry at the end. Yeah, it did. That's uh, that he ended up. Crawford's payoff pitch. And a fly to center. Duran back to the track, reaches up. He makes the play. The baseball has taken off. When that wind, as you said, changes direction to really. Sunshiny day, Red Sox and the Guardians in a nothing nothing game. Little flare out to center field. Here comes Duran. He will slide and make the play. Lays a bullet out there, ran it down, and took one away from Jimenez. That will strand one. Still nothing nothing. We talked the first four floors. <laughs> no speaking after that. Right Stay field, fair. down the line, Pesky's pole is in play, and it is gone, a home run! Will Brennan breaks the scoreless game here in the seventh with a two-out, two-run homer off the bench as a pinch hitter. How about that? And he ended up pulling it. That's where the home runs come, right down the line. Gets a big hug from Josh Naylor. Popped him up. Devers and Rafaela out. Coming on O'Neill. And a collision. Oh my. Rafi went down. O'Neill went down. They both go sprawling in the outfield on the catch. And Rafi, Rafi holding on to the baseball, made the catch for out number three somehow. And O'Neill took a shot. Rafi holding his head. Man, was that ugly. Three guys going after it. He stepped off the rubber, but he might have flinched. It's off the glove of the first baseman, Casas. Scoring is Rocchio. In the third base is Quan Ramirez. The throw gets away in second. Here comes Quan. The Guardians <laughs> steal another run. It's 4 nothing, Cleveland. That's exactly right. They stole the run right there because of the hustle of Ramirez. And then you look at Rocchio hustling all the way and keeping his eye on the ball. Those guys did a wonderful job, and they kept pressure on the defense. And also Larry Lacchino. Drill deep left field up the monster and off it. That's going to bring home Brennan in the second base and safe with an RBI double as Gabriel Arias his third hit of the game and it's 5 nothing Cleveland. Holy smokes this guy is. Uh... Left field base hit. And that will score the run. So this is one of those, it's one of those weird deals, right? You talk about it, you're in scoring position. But at Fenway, you're not automatically in scoring position at second base. The year. Popped him up. That's gonna shit stay in play for Quan. Quan is there. He's got it. Book it. The Guardians blank the socks at Fenway for the first time since 2005 as they take the series opener in 2-2. Two -two. And Farmer hits a line drive sailing away from Mullins. Oh! An impossible catch. Oh my goodness. Tip your cap, Cole Irvin. Tip your cap, everybody. Cedric Mullins insane in center. Are you kidding me? There's no way he can get to this ball. He shaded the right center field, but lay out, Cedric. My gosh, you won't see a better play maybe this entire week in baseball. He's been great in these spots this year. The best slugging percentage in the majors with runners in scoring position. Trying to dig out from under 0-2, and Westberg will ground one through the left side and do just that. That's going to score a pair. Mountcastle hustles to third. Westy hot puts it to second.
And the Orioles have two 0 2 hits in the inning. The latter of the two is a two run double from Jordan Wesper. Back at the ballpark, where he made his big league debut. A swing and a fly ball, well hit, left center field and deep. Back it goes and gone. Jose Miranda, number one this season. Twins get some mojo back in their dugout and make this a one run game. Well, you got to hit the ball a really, really long way to get it out to left field. He gets a fastball up. Where they put this fence, you got to absolutely hammer it, and he did. Holy cow. And O'Hearn belts one into center field. Straight away shot. Oh, Hearn. Oh, yes. Second straight game with a home run for a red hot Ryan. Turn and burn O'Hearn. And this is a bomb, folks. I mean, a bomb. 109 off the bat. 435 feet, his third long ball of the year, his fourth RBI. It's a long way out there, folks, to that batter's eye. On the team, very important day for them. They've been very vocal about it. Cedric slams one to center field right at Byron Buxton. He's got a big arm, but it's not going to be that big. Mount Castle is in on a sack fly from Cedric Mullins, and the Orioles have two in the third and a 4 1 lead. Well done. Let's see if he can steal an out. To the hole and through base hit into left field. Miranda two for two. He's knocked in a couple of runs. And the Twins are back within two. A one two. Hit in the air deep right field. It's down the line in the corner. This one is gone. It's got enough. It's out of the flag court. It hung up high. It stayed true. And Cedric Mullins with an incredible catch. And now a two run homer. And the Orioles extend their lead on the fourth long ball that Mullins has hit this season. It is now a 6-2 game. And Henderson destroys it. Look out below. My goodness, huh? How about 108 off the bat? Bowman tries a little backdoor cutter, and Gunnar Henderson would have all of it. And I mean all of it as he powers it out to right center field. His fourth long ball of the year, his 11th RBI. And that was yet another bomb, folks. Pull fair down the left field line. Ryan Jeffers, a three hit night. He knocks in two, and the Twins have life. They're back in this game, down 7 4. Well, he got it up just enough. Bottom of the strike zone. Able to keep that ball fair. Nice piece of hitting. And Jeffers with a three hit game. The 2 2 is hit on the ground to second base. Jackson Holiday will end the Orioles' 10th win of the year. 7 4 5. First base, Torkelson is in. And Simeon bounces it left side of the infield. They'll go to second base for one out on the first, not in time. Good hustle by Simeon to beat it out. He picks up the RBI, and the Rangers get that first run tonight. Good job by Simeon putting it in play and hustling as fast as he could. <laughs> so good. I got to learn how to spell it first. 2-2 <laughs> two, two. in the air for left field. Riley Green stalks it. He's under it. He makes the catch. Here comes Walsh from third throw the plate. He knocked him down. Good synergy right there. And Why outs are permeating the top of the fifth. How about this arm by Greeny? He knew exactly what he was doing. Let it go. Threw an absolute rocket to home plate. Canna bounces it. Shortstop. Underhand to second one on the first. In time. Double play. And the inning is over. Third double play tonight. Behind Lorenzen, yeah, I didn't have anybody smiling. It's still one nothing. Another payoff, and Urshela hits that ball hard out to center field on the run for Tavares, and in a slide, he makes the catch. What a play by Leone Tavares to take one away. That's a big time play in a one run game. What a battle. Urshela looks like this is going to be a hit off the bat, and, and I think a future gold glove winner. And Leody Tavares makes a great play in center field. Tenth year in the big leagues, and Robertson's payoff. That is in there. Strike three called. Got him.
time on the curveball. And the inning is over. Great job by David Robertson. Now to the ninth inning we go. When we come back, the Rangers. Wow. Slice to right center field. Meadows! Felonious center field from Parker Meadows. Double. Baez in the air. Back of second. Simeon wants it. He's got it. And this one is over. The Rangers hold on for a one. Bryce jumping around off first. And it's tapped into no man's land. Tovar bare hand out at first base. What a play by Tovar. On the that one's hit sharply into right center field a base hit. Turner's going to score. Bryce Harper comes through. An RBI single. It's just his third hit with a runner in scoring position, but he hit it hard. It's one. Come on. High fly ball, deep right field, and this one is gone. Tie ball game. Michael Tolia, his team leading fourth homer of the year. A majestic flight here on a Monday night in the city of brotherly love, and we're all even at one in the fifth. The UCLA kid on Jackie Robinson Day. That one gets away from JT. He picks it out of the air, flips to home, and out at home plate. What a play by Hoffman. Freeland came charging down the line, and Hoffman smothered him at the plates. Colorado challenging the call at the plate. Hoffman's walking back. After review. Oh, he's out. There is no blocking of the plate, no violation. The call on the field stands, the runner's out. Wow. Wow. But he might get run. He's not happy about First it. time tonight. There's a line drive. Bates it into right field. He is the hero. Stott will score. The Phillies win it here in the 10th inning. Christian Pache with an opposite field single. And the celebration is taking the Phils out to right field. Phillies win it 2-1 to one here in the 10th inning. Well, that's got to be a great feeling. It's the second walk-off win of the year for the Phils. Learn more. Javi Garcia lifting off out toward left. This one is gone. A solo home run. Javi Garcia won nothing. There's no doubt in my mind that Garcia was looking for that first pitch fastball from Harrison and got a breaking ball up in the strike zone. He sped his bat up and he had that right launch angle to hit it out of here. With two strikes, trying to hit the ball to the ballpark. De La Cruz lines it out toward left field. That's going to get down and it's going to roll past the left fielder Conforto. Lopez is in. A rise coming around and he'll score. Ball gets to the backstop and De La Cruz to third. DLC just keeps on hitting. Three nothing mark. Conforto, another liner, and this one gets by a rise. Now Soler has to hustle. He'll get there safely. Lee is in to score. Nick Fortes, the catcher. Uh, flips one to shallow right. Yastrzemski charging hard, and he makes a diving catch. Great free, great play. I was disgusted. I thought that was going to drop in initially after a great pitch. It's a little Superman. Boom. And more than likely, just three innings when he does pitch. And he gets another strikeout. That's 10. That is 10 strikeouts, double digit strikeouts, third time in his career. In the center, Jazz coming in, dives and makes the catch. What a play by Jazz to take away a hit, maybe extra bases. One away here in the seventh. And Jazz got them sweet shoes on tonight, too. Maybe that helped him get that good jump, that good break. He left his feet, made a real nice grab. And Jazz starting to acquit himself very nicely in center field. Bailey to left. Going back on it, De La Cruz. He'll catch it. Estrada will tag. The throw's going to go to second. And so there's a run. Play the game. It's three to two. Ready to go to try to tie the game or more. Lee, base hit left center field. Here comes Yastrzemski, and he will score the tying run. 
Jung Woo Lee, a huge hit for the Giants. It's three to three. What huge an at bat! Hit. Huge hit. He's pumped. The boys in the dugout fired up. Everyone's happy. 2 2 battle. There it is. But stay down, stay through it. Yastrzemski off on contact and a great read by Nick Ahmed to get over to third base. Yeah, these are the spots where Wilmer came through again and again for the Giants. He lines one to center field. That's a base hit. One hop to Chisholm. Ahmed scores the go ahead run. It's four to three Giants. That's the guy we've seen year after year in these kind of spots. Wilmer Flores comes through. Bob Melvin wanted to bring in the game. So Camilo, and I don't think Camilo yet realizes that. No, he was the guy that actually has been summoned into the game. So he's still warming up in the pen. So Taylor Rogers headed out there. And Schumacher's got an argument. He's like, turn the clock on. And Laz's point, there's lots of pointing going on. Yeah. Uh, Schumacher's upset at how this is being handled. He might get kicked out of this game. And it's all about, I'm sure, the clock. They still haven't started that two minute clock. He's, yeah, I mean, uh, clearly He's, Bob looked out there and saw Taylor Rogers coming in and said, wait a minute, that, that's not the guy I want. Yeah. He said, no, 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 the righty, right. but maybe this was the play right here. And this, and if this is right, he gets an Oscar. Yeah, Taylor did a good job selling it. Because you sit right there, you slow play it, you let Camilo get some more tosses in. And I, I don't look, know what was going I on. I can understand why Schumacher is unhappy about how that was handled. This time, he's, yeah. he's got to fall in love with it. He struck him out swinging with a fastball. And here is Mike Trout, the Angels' all-time leader in home runs and runs scored. And a hot shot grabbed at third, Paredes. Boy, that ball hit hard, and Paredes, that's why it's the hot corner down there. And he grabbed it for the out. Think about if that ball is able to get up the line. And Sandoval is desperate for an out now with Yandy Diaz coming up. Pinto at first. As Diaz, it's a bouncer to short. Neto throws home, and they get the out at the plate. Throw to first. Shotowell wasn't covering the base. As Diaz is safe, might have been a close play had Shotowell been on the bag at first. Really can't even understand why Shotowell wasn't at first base there. But Zach Neto with a heads up play, even though he was back to throw home and get an out. There's an opportunity here, and a chopper. Behind the mound, that's going to be grabbed by the pitcher Sandoval. The throw to first in time. Siri crosses the plate, and the Rays get a run. That could have been very difficult for Sandoval. Yeah, and he uh, he made a very difficult play there. Listen, when the ball came off the bat, no way to turn to, no way to be able to. Rendon fouls one off. He's one for three tonight. The Rays have a lead in the ninth inning. He'd be the guy to try to close it. A Rendon He's lines unreal. one a base hit. He is unbelievable. He went down and got a break a ball and somehow punched that in the left center field. Trout's hit 374 homers in his career. I wouldn't say he's a home run hitter, though. There's a long fly ball. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Mike Trout, a two run homer. He blasts one to give the Angels a two to one lead. Any big moment. Home run for Mike Trout. 1100, I mean 11, can't even say 111.6 miles per hour exit velocity. Ball's crushed. One behind Carlton Fisk. And you wonder if that pitch get, it gets away, change it up. They hit Taylor Ward. This one rolling up the gap as Ward thought about second, but holds Siri with a good arm, gets it in. And Sano was trying to do the same as he swings through it. So no, it's another wow. rocket. This one past Caballero in the left field. Would have been the hardest one yet. <laughs> Every ball he's hit today is about 100, 405. He has three hits total, and now two more base runners for the Angels against Phil Maton. Well, it's just only 103. Murray hit a double earlier. The Angels have four hits in this inning and two runs. Now Drury takes ball four to load him up. And see if Matt Dice can give this team some insurance. Now Thice lines a base hit. Insurance for the Halos. Taylor Ward scores. Sano scores. Renifo's on his way home. The relay coming in toward the plate won't be made. Matt Thice unlocks the bases. A three-run double. It's a 5-1 Angel lead. Get the smile. Thice, Thice. Harold Ramirez. And a high shot deep to left. That's got a chance to go. All the way back. Gone. Home run for Ramirez. I'll tell you what.
Matt Moore has been struggling with the changeup in this particular outing. This one he pulls right into the swing of Harold Ramirez. Had seen a number of pitches start to get a little bit of a comfort level, and then you get a changeup that's pulled middle in. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Say good night to the. They got him picked off. And he's out, and that's the end of the inning. Bichette looked like he was going, and then he'll fire to Rizzo to get Bichette. And the Blue Jays run themselves out of an inning. He was out by plenty. There's a base hit to left field. Torres will score, moving to second for Dugo. Oswaldo Cabrera picks up his 12th ribby of the year. It's a 1-0 Yankee lead. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if he's hitting ninth. Or more than that. Too high, ball four, and that'll bring in a run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that one's going to get to the backstop. And here comes Kirk to score. Everybody advances, and it's two to one Blue Jays. Good job by Kirk. He, he saw that ball go all the way back to the backstop and broke for home. Right now, Blue Jays will take him any way they can get him. And that ball went off. It's a fair ball. It's going to get down into the corner. Bichette will come in to score easily. And Alejandro Kirk with his first extra base hit of the season. And it drives in a run. It was a slider, but was able to pull it down the line, keep it inside the bag at third base. He has now reached his six straight plate appearances. Those going to score easily. He said, can I hit 95 every now and again, 96? But he knows he's a 92 to 94 guy. As into the corner, a sliding catch is made by Dalton Varsho. Getting more and more familiar with that new corner down in left field. There's not much room into foul ground, and he stays with this ball. This ball is slicing away from him, and wow, what an effort by Dalton Varsho. He came to an abrupt stop because he ran into the wall. So the Blue Jays and out away. The batter is Anthony Rizzo. And this is a well hit ball deep left center field. Yeah! Varsho's got it. Jimmy Garcia sets down Soto, Judge, and Rizzo. Former Brewer, Brewer teammates here. Ground ball right side, and McCutcheon singles home the first run of the game. Through the right side, Andrew McCutcheon brings home Hayes. 1 0. Very nice. Line to center field, a base hit will bring home another run. Connor Joe loves those men in scoring position, and now it's 2 0. Sawinski to third. That was a nice job by Bader, keeping that from being extra bases, clearing the bases. The ball smoked. Don't worry about trying to guide it. Well, he does go the other way. And this will score another run. Well, Sacrifice think. fly for Triolo on a 1 2 pitch. He'll get some high fives when he gets to that, that dugout. That was a nice piece of hit. He committed to that approach to get that run home. Make sure he doesn't hit to a double play. Shoot for the open side. And even with two strikes, gets it done. That breaking ball. Or with Alonzo on deck. And Lindor cracks one into center field for a base hit. Marte moves up to second. So a two strike hit for Lindor, his second hit of the night. So after the Pirates broke the ice in the top of the inning, the Mets poised to try and respond in the bottom. Tying runs on base with one out. And that's ball four. <laughs> and the Mets have their first run of the night. Alvarez walks for the second time in the game. The second time in his career that Alvarez has walked with the bases loaded. And it gives the Mets their first run. It's now three to one. Raley and Deekman, the two lefties up in the pen. And McNeil flies one out to right. Joe coming on. And he makes the catch. No tag. Oh, oh my God. Now it comes late as Joe Jeez. lost it. And the Mets get a gift run. Oh, my God. What happened to Connor Joe? He, he spiked it. He went to just... He was in between throwing it hard to home or throwing it easy to the second baseman trio. DJ Stewart will bat for him with the tying run at second. And Stewart cracks one in the right field. Moving over is Joe. He can't get it. 
It's up against the wall. In to score is Beatty. Alvarez will be held at third. It's a pinch hit RBI double for DJ Stewart to tie the game. Fastball right down the pipe, and when you pinch hit, you got a fastball hitter, and when you're pinch hitting, you've got you've got a fastball, you're on it. So playing awfully deep. And there goes McNeil stealing third, and the Mets pull off a double steal with no throw. How about that? And he lights one down the left field line, base hit, and that'll bring in two. McNeil and Stewart both come in to score. Bader at second with a two-run double, and the Mets for a second straight day take the lead in the bottom of the eighth on a big hit from Harrison Bader. Stewart, McNeil and Stewart double stole. And Bader drove them both in. Grounder to second. Triolo coming home. And he's saved. Oh, Bader beat the tag by Davis. And it's 6-3 to three, New York. Wow. Infield in. Ball hit right at Triolo. Not a bad throw. But Davis unable to get the tag down. 2-2 two -two to Cruz. Fly ball right center field. Over in the gap goes Marte. He's there. And the ball game is over. Edwin Diaz saves it for the second straight day. The Mets, after starting the year 0-5, have gotten back to 500. They've won eight of their last 11 games. As they score three at the bottom of the eighth, Harrison Bader plays hero again, and the Mets beat the Pirates 6-3. Down to one, Nestrini. His first major league strikeout, and it comes on Bobby Witt Jr. There's the Nestrini family. You have to be ecstatic. You take down their best player on strikes. It's a changeup. It's not where he wanted it. It was just very effective. He wants that ball down. He wants it in. He got it up and in and got the strikeout. Much to the delight of the family. Difficulty finding the strike zone. That ball is crushed. Deep right field. And Vinny has his second home run in as many days. The Royals get their first base runner, their first hit, and their first run scored. Yeah, Rick got the tape measure on that one. Swung on, gone. Vinny's third on the season. And there's a ground ball left side. Lofton comes around third, and he will beat the throw. And a nice easy swing by Kyle Isbell gives the Royals a 2-0 lead. Just what you were talking about. Way to go. And MacArthur gets the job done. Ground ball left side, tough play, base hit. Turio sent around third. He will score. It's 1-0. Well, there you go. One for two now. Runners in scoring position. We're just talking about that. Don't really put that one just out of the reach of Hassan Kim. Grounded up the middle. It'll be Kim near the bag. One on to first and a double play to end the inning. Brewers get one. And that's all in the first against Joe Musgrove. To, to swing at. So. Usually it's early in the count. There he goes. There and it is. it's hit through the right side. Yeah. A base hit. Perkins, though, didn't get a read on it. Going to try to go to third on Fernando. And he is out at third. He slid head first into second and then tried to run on Tatis. Churio left field. Pro far. Out of room. It's gone. Jackson Churio, home run number three. All of his home runs coming at home. Kim bounces it the other way. That is Terang goes to second. Not in time at first, and Cronworth comes in to score the first Padre run of the night. Obviously got to wait and see if the Brewers want to challenge it very, very close at first base. Really close at first base. They're going to wave it off. On the ground the other way, Terang, long way to go. The only play is to first. Camposano comes in to score, and it's a one-run game.
three at bats three pitches for Fernando getting the run home that's oh. off the glove of the catcher Contreras here comes Wade and it's a tie game. A passed ball on Contreras. Wow, what a break. On the ground up the middle, nice sliding backhand play, but Adamas can't collect it. And the Padres take the lead as Bogarts comes in to score. Into center field Perkins on the move can't get there drops down for another base hit. Couple of runs going to score and a little Merrill madness here in Milwaukee as the Padres lead it six to three. Cabezano muscles it out to left field and that's down for another base hit. Kim will come in and score. And a 7 3 Padre lead as Camposano collects his second hit of the inning. Freelich did not get a good read off that ball. At first, I thought if you initially come in on contact, there's probably a good chance he catches this ball. Two and two. Out to left field, playable for Profar. Jurgensen is there. And the ball game is over. Padres getting to Milwaukee early this morning. And there's a line drive, base hit to left. Tucker's being waved around. Here comes a throw by Kelnick. It is cut off, and the relay not in time. Astros lead, 1-0. Welcome back, Greggy. Greggy might have been in the cage trying to heal up. We know he likes to work, but it's nice when you come back after a little bit of an illness, get a chance in an RBI situation, and you fire one right back up the middle. A great swing by Alex Bregman. Tucker scoring easily. The righty delivers. Ground ball toward the middle, but stops by Pena. Oh, he throws it wide of Abreu. And the ball game is tied as Jarno comes home. A costly error by the Astros shortstop. Well, Pena did a good job getting to this baseball, but decided the best way he was going to be able to throw it was the spin. And then wanted to kind of play the long hop in the dirt, which some infielders would do, and they're not confident getting the baseball all the way there. But that one was way off line. No, no bounds. <laughs> that hit him. Hopefully, Ozzy's okay. It gets the go ahead run home. The first run scores via an error. This one via hit by pitch. But Ozzy, he's shaken up a bit. The Braves organization. Austin Riley, this time he's got a long way to go. He gets there. What a play. Sliding on the dirt in front of the dugout. Well, this one a little bit more difficult after the sky high fly ball that he caught for the first out in this inning here. Austin Riley had to show off some range and some awareness. You see him take a look at where exactly the dugout is and right in front of Wiley. This ball is up the middle. Orlando Arcia off the bench delivering a huge RBI single and giving Atlanta a big insurance run. It's three to one. Hater, the five time All Star, fires in. Riley singles to left. Four straight hits for Atlanta, and it's four to one. One of the best relievers in the game. Broken bat, and the hit streak <laughs> lives. 14 straight games with a hit for Marcelo Zuna. And it also brings in another run. It is five to one Atlanta. When you're going right and as hot as Marcel is right now, these are the kind of things that happen. The ball's up and in off the plate, shatters his bat, but it still turns into a base hit. The Big Bear, he is living right. Still standing up. Tells me maybe he stays in with a four run lead. And it is going to be a four run lead if they can turn two, but they cannot. And another run comes home. Michael Harris using his speed to keep the inning alive.
I'm going to tell you what, too, this looked like this would be somewhat routine. I know it was a little bit of a chopper there, so it wasn't it that hard, but a nice high hop. Again, the 3 2. Reaching for it. Grounds it to Ozzy. Braves win. They use a four run top of the ninth to get a 6 to 1 victory in the series opener against Houston. First time that the Braves back here since they won the World Series, and it's all smiles again tonight. Good, but started driving the ball the other way, had a double to the off gap. This one shot through the whole left side of base hit. Here comes Goldie around third. Here's the throw. It's going to be cut off. And Arenado comes through in the first, right on cue, and St. Louis cashes in a walk to take a 1 0 lead. Well, there is one of the first, the 0 2 pitch. Runner goes. It is low. The throw to second is caught and tagged. What a play by Mason Wynn. He stuck his nose in there and somehow caught the ball and tagged out Geloff. How about Contreras going from the knees on this one, too? Just lets this fly. Look how quick this release is. I mean, that is a perfect throw, and you're right. Great catch and tag by Mason Wynn. Walker to right field. Butler slides and makes a great catch. From one Atlanta native to another, Butler robs Jordan Walker of a hit. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for Ross Stripling. Get it done, Law Dog. Tracking, layout, no doubt. Ground ball, fair ball. Cardinals add to the lead. Newt Bar scores. Contreras on his way to second, and the Cardinals now have a 2 0 lead. Look at Stripling. Hey, the right side is wide open. Can he poke it through there? He just did. Good call, Brad. Big hit for Walker. It's 3 0 St. Louis. Same pitch, right? That's. I said we want to see him go down and maybe hit the ball a little harder maybe take some more aggressive hacks see if he can work a count from time to time we just want to see a little uptick well as he says hold my beer comes his 0-2 pitch to Nevin he got him blew him away at 101 miles an hour on 31 years old out of the Dominican Republic here's a 3-1 pitch Right field. Goodbye. Jorge Polanco with a three run homer, and the Mariners cash him in. Back to back days, home runs here at T Mobile Park. He's got three on the season, takes his RBI total to eight, an early lead for the Mariners. Hey now. Candelario, high fly, deep right center. And that is gone. Dropped down to seventh in the order. He got his first multi hit game as a red yesterday. And an impressive second home run as a red here tonight. Yeah, 264 is one of the better numbers on the club. Now, this one drilled to the gap. Left center field. Hedick for the pad. And it's gone. Home run, Mitch Hedegger, right on cue. Hedick with his third homer. RBI's nine and ten. Mariners get five. The board, everybody. We're in the third inning. Yeah, hey now. That's how you add on. Glancing contact. It falls fair. Wave is on. Encarnacion strand of the plate. Throw goes to second offline. Fraley bloops a double, and the Reds get another run back. It's 5 2. A double for Fraley, but the double hustle. Lifted in between De La Cruz, long sprint on the slide, reaches up and makes the play. A stellar grab by De La Cruz. A burner put it in what looked to be no man's land, but the human cheat code denied. This looks like a really good play. It was a phenomenal play. De La Cruz started behind the second base. That's how much ground he covered on a ball that was almost on the left field line, and he makes the catch sliding like he does it every day. One and two. There it is, base hit, Andy RBI for Jonathan Classe. The Mariners 
Pirates have a 6-2 lead. Give that kid the baseball. Able to stay with the changeup and hit it the other way. Smart. First hit, first RBI for him. Very nice. Many, many more. I mean, you look at the arms that they have, especially in that rotation. Fraley, first pitch, launched to right, and that is gone! He has done damage early. That's eight hits on a first pitch this year on a line to get a run back for the Reds, his first of the year. Well, that's got to feel good. Big pitch here, 3-1. Down the line, fair ball! Julio takes his time, he'll score. Polanco, he's rolling, gets a stop sign from Manny. What a night for Mitch Hanniger. RBI double at 7-3, Mariners. Third RBI for Mitch, his second hit tonight. Polanco and Hanniger each with three, and Class A with an RBI. It'll be plenty deep to score the run from third. It's going to get the job done. Mariners got an eight spot on the board. Nice job by Ty France with the sack. Fly picks up his fourth RBI. As Polanco's third baseman is playing very deep in that first inning. Is this the bleeder? It's going to get down. Everybody runs. They get Big Thunder rolling. Go for three, big fella. Yes, he is. And Luke Riley's in there with an RBI triple. Cincinnati Reds, the one two to Dela Cruz. Swing and a miss. That's your ball game. Mariners win it 9 3 and they end a two game. That ball bounces the wildest of pitches. All right. Nothing Will Smith could do. And Abrams cruises home to put the Nats on top. The pitch to Will Smith. 2 2 hit hard. Right to center fielder. Jacob Young, but it will get the job done. Sacrifice fly, tying the game at one of the first. Find that right mix on his timing. 3-1, another swing. This one taken to center field. Young has it. Muncie tags again. A second sack fly for the Dodgers. This one puts him in front. It's 2-1. Three doubles, two triples, three home runs. CJ starting to pile up the extra base hits. And he's now hit safely in 10 of his last 12 games. Oh. And he gets under one to right center. Approaching the bleachers. <laughs> See you later. Extra base hits indeed. And his fourth gets this one back even. Unbelievable. Lean on one. There's an RBI hit if it's fair, and it is into the right field corner. Winker scores. Gallo digging for two. Looks like he got there. And Joey Gallo drives in his fifth run of the year. And the Nets. First and second two outs for Luis Garcia. Garcia. Loud sound. High arching fly ball. Top of the wall. See you later. Luis Garcia, who has tremendous power the other way, puts three more on the board for the Knicks. Elevate to celebrate, Bob. You get a slider up in the zone. And we got some good carry on this one. 104 off the bat, 376 feet. Smith pulls it to the left side. Otani will score. Making it a 6-3. It is the major league debut of Ricky Venasco. One one grounded deluxe at second. Easy play. Welcome to the big leagues, Ricky Venasco. A one, two, three, eighth inning. Dodgers back up after this. Since no balls, two strikes. Harvey pitches. Muncie pulls one to right field. That's a base hit. Dino Ebel gonna wave Teoscar Hernandez around. It's now six to four. Muncy with an RBI base hit that will bring the tying run to the plate here with two down in the eighth. Because of that. Mookie Betts a two hopper to short. Abrams. Yeah. And the Nats have beaten the Dodgers. 
in Cub history, who's homered in five straight games? Hack Wilson, Ryan Sandberg, Sammy Sosa, Christopher Morell. Well, five of Bush's home runs this year have come with two strikes on it. The 0 2. Swing and a high fly ball drilled out towards right center field. That one back and gone! He's done it again! Five in a row, Michael Bush, and it's 1 0. You can't stop him! Base hit for Jake. Here comes Walker. Gabby into third. Jake McCarthy ties the ball game. Nice quick swing from Jake, which is what you have to do against high velocity. If you try to swing as hard as he's throwing, it's going to be by you before that bat gets into the hitting zone. But nice, short, quick. As that one bounces to the left side, and Morrell. There's that arm. <laughs> hmm. That arm is a, is a difference maker. He had a real nice day defensively in Seattle the other day. Game saving play, as a matter of fact, maybe even a couple of them. But, uh, measured steps as he gets that hop, and then 96 to first base. Close enough to get a swing. Nico Horner lays out and steals a hit from Guriel. Ben Brown absolutely loving it. In the air, shallow right field coming on. Topman! Oh, Mike, what a catch! He laid out, and stole a hit from Marino. Completely committed to the play here, right? He didn't hesitate, head down, charging hard. I love Nico's reaction. Nico's like, yeah, he did. And then Mike Topman right here with the most Mike Topman response ever. Just, hey, right here. Yeah, I got it. Well, you're going to need the two out RBI knock, not from Cattell Marte, who's going to get a free pass here with first base open, but from the left hand batting Corbin Carroll. Base hit. Gritchick's home. Corbin Carroll gives them the lead, and Marte's in at third. Well, the ball smoked off the bat 104 miles an hour on a sinker down at the bottom of the zone, right where he likes it. Shoots it over Nico Horner's head into right field. And the dirt kicks away. Moreno can't find it. Horner coming around. Here comes Nico. He's in. And we are tied. He scores all the way from second on a wild pitch. Moreno just couldn't find it. And Nico immediately noticed and did not stop. There goes the runner. Throw down right on the money. Got him. And Blaze looking in, saying, are you going to look at it? Says yes. Line drive, base hit right field. Gritchick up with it. Only one will score. And it is 3-2. The Cubs with the lead as Nico comes through. Well, he got the rally started in the ninth, scored the time. Thompson ready and fires. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did! Ball game, Cubs win!